No yawning! I was just about to tell you no yawning. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? I got my new stool. Hey, uh, is this in good, um, everything? Yeah, I told you it was a good when you fixed it. It's good right now. That might be a little light because you opened that, but we'll see. All right, what's up, y'all? Um, we'll see. Wait, we'll see. You might okay. need it. Um, open that again. Let's see, because it looks a little dark. Ah, that's perfect. Thanks. All right. So, what's up, everybody? How to do? How to do? How to do? Jennifer Smith's <laughs> internet is working. That's awesome. Congrats. <clears throat> um, so we're going to be doing a little cradle board prep for any newbies that are in the house or somebody that might need a little refresher course. Mm -hmm. Let's pop this chat out. Pop it out. Pop it. Pop it out. Pop and broccoli. Hey, Pug. All right. Thank you. Um, I'm going to put the ones that are sold up. I definitely want to show them a couple. Well, I should put those in um, these. Yeah. All right. So. How's everybody doing today on this Friday? Hope everybody's doing very well. Muy bueno. Muy bueno. So we're just gonna be doing a quick video on how to prep your cradle board or canvas or whatever you are preparing to paint on. We shall return. <laughs> Alright, so before we get into this, I want to show you guys some um, prints that I did today. Um, this one is actually already sold to JJ. You guys can see this. It's amazing. Just did some lettering. Don't mess with Texas. Get a beat. Um, but I do have a couple that are for sale. Uh, this She's one is favorite. still for sale. This is at uh, 125 right now. Somebody wants to buy this. Um, yeah. What else do we got? Oh yeah, we have some lips that I did today. These are prints that I just painted on neon. Um, but those are available right now. Uh, these are uh, 75 right now. And then we have a stormtrooper that says I heart the dark side. This is at 125. Let me know. There's some gold, I'm sorry, silver embellishments on this as well. You can't see them because this is in a little sleeve. But these are the, the ones that are available. Let me know if you're interested. It's, it's cool to buy artwork on Friday. Isn't it payday? I thought it was payday. I'm not sure. It is. It's the first Friday of the month. Holly, why don't you get that? Go ahead and buy it. So. You won't regret not buying it because somebody else might. <laughs> Just got a quota to meet today, people. Yeah, I got a quota to meet. I got to get a new airbrush so I can get a new keychain. And um, I want to buy these prints that are made out of color swatches by an artist here in Dallas. It's amazing. This girl goes to Home Depot and Lowe's and wherever they sell paint and just jacks all the paint swatches because they're free like she just goes in and just grabs them all and then makes pictures 
pixelated so pictures. Pixelated pictures, so that when you look at them, it looks all pixelated. But if you put your phone up to it, cool. you can see it, and it looks amazing. We need to have her on as a guest. Yeah, that would be awesome. All right, so until then, here we go. Uh, this is one of our, what is that size, 30? This is a 30. I have to prep this. This one's actually going to be for uh, the logo commission. It's going to be white, silver, and have red Swarovskis all over it. Um, but I have to be very careful in prepping it because I'm going to have to do a lot of masking on it. And masking doesn't like to stick to any rough surface. So it has to be as smooth as possible. So we like to prep it down to as smooth as we would use it for um, alcohol inks, uh, resin pours, acrylic pours, or airbrushing. You can probably do watercolor too. Holly said she's still waiting on the print she won. Didn't you send that out today or yesterday or something? Holly, did she send me a text? I saw you grab a print from over here. That was on Holly's. Mm. That was just a regular Stormtrooper print. Mm. Did you send me a text, Holly? Because I still have some text to um, complete. Basically, during the day when I'm shooting out all of the orders from the website and doing inventory and things, if, if it's not in writing through either a text or an email, it's just not going to happen. Unfortunately. So, um, B, what kind of paint do I need to use for this? You need to use flat white house paint. So yeah, I'm going to be prepping this with flat white interior house paint. This particular um, stuff is PPG and you can use a roller uh, I'm just doing a dip and roll situation because she said, I did text you and you replied oh then it should have if <coughs> I responded then it was taken care of yeah but just so I can check tracking on it for you Holly um Shoot me another message just so I can double check tracking. What kind of roller is this B? I don't know. <laughs> it's like really fine. Let's say yeah. The kind of roller that you use is super important. Yeah. This is premium one. Premium one coat latex and oil paint. Six inch, smooth surface, best. Premium white woven. Why is the kind of roller you use important? Um, so that you don't leave marks in your, with the paint. You don't leave lines and it's not uh, chunky when you roll it on. You or want as smooth. low profile a finish as possible for when you start sanding. It's just a short version of what Jeff just said. No, it's not foam. We only really use the foam ones if we're gonna do marbling. Jeff likes to use the foam ones for marble texture, but not for this. We used to, though, um, paint this on, and then we would foam swipe it to further flatten it. I'm just going to roll around the edge real quick. While I'm thinking about it, if you don't do this, it's not a big deal because after your painting sets or whatever, you can just flip it over and then um, spray paint it. 
to be a solid color, whatever color you want your the face of your piece to be. We like to put it face down and then spray paint it. That way everything's protected. So just so you guys know, we got some fireball today. <laughs> so if you guys want to see fireball face for donations, that might just be an option. <laughs> face fireball face for donations no, we're gonna have to give away at the end crazy. of the feed that's too crazy don't do that y'all i haven't eaten anything today except for a couple tacos taco friday i'm eating some sun chips Um, Stacy Mooneyham, that's an interesting last name. Um, you don't need, if you've never used the airbrush, I would suggest to use, um, go on Amazon and look up we Master Airbrush. We have it in our Amazon link. Oh, well, we, we should have it in our Amazon link in the description box below the video. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so you don't have to search too hard for it. So you don't have to search too hard. Um, just go below, click on any Amazon link that we have, and then search uh, Master Airbrush. And it's like 30 bucks. Um, all you need is a decent com a compressor. It's like a small... Uh, I guess you can hook it up to whatever airbrush or compressor you have. I want to um, say I have a compressor link. Well, you might um, and uh, just get that one because that's probably the best airbrush I've tested for the for as cheap it is it for is it for a beginner um, it worked it worked pretty good when I when I just bought it and just tried to I was like, how good can this airbrush be? And it was decent for me. So for somebody that's just beginning, that's just doing colors, maybe stencils, that airbrush is good. Or even just blowing around alcohol inks. Or blowing around alcohol inks, yeah. A lot of people are doing that now. You're welcome. Hey guys, thinking of adding alcohol ink to my piece over existing resin. Should I sand it or not sand? I wouldn't. You want it to be as smooth of a surface as possible? Yeah, if alcohol you sand ink it, will stain it's going it. to stick to the grooves. Yeah. Okay, so I have this painted and dried. Now I'm going to. Thank take you, Miss Wright. Pardon? Thank you, just right. So I'm going to take, which way is it? It's 220. That's a little rough for that, right? I'm going to knock it down and then do a 400. Well, put your paper in between that so you don't ruin. That's a brand new piece of paper, isn't it? Gonna. Tell them why this Cheers happened. to you all. Got me some Bud Light. Not sponsored, but if Bud Light wants to sponsor an artist. Is Bud, does Bud Light even sponsor artists? I don't even know. I know they sponsor rap artists. Angel heart, sun is shining in Australia, I assume. Saturday morning. Why am I putting this rag in between here? Um, that's a little tip that I do. What you did, what you saw her do is put that rag, she folded it. And what that does is give you kind of a cushion so that your fingers aren't pressing down on the on your if you ever notice you sand something. And you can kind of see where your fingerprints are pushing down. 
Let's all donate something. Well, thank you, Karen. That was very nice of you. I think that was a fireball. Good, let's all donate something. Um, so it gives it a nice even surface. Uh, it kind of gives you a pressure to push down on, and it gives you a nice surface. And also, if you ever notice you're sanding something, and then you go to use the inside part, and it feels a little smoother than normal, or almost smoother than the other side, it's because those parts are rubbing together, and it's just, it's basically smoothing out the other side of the sandpaper. So that actually protects, yeah, you can see kind of what she's doing there. That will happen if you don't have that buffer in between. D.L. Taylor, Tyler. T.Y. Tammy, thank you very much, Tammy. <laughs> keep thinking one of those is a fireball donation. Um, David, I just got a California Air, um, and it's not loud at all. You might hear it come on, because I've been airbrushing. Um, it's not loud for as big as the compressor is. Like, it's it's a it's a pretty good sized compressor. Um, and it's probably the best price for the size of compressor that it is. The bigger it's better because the tank, you get a bigger tank, so it doesn't come on as much and you're not listening too much. What are you doing? This bigger is better because oh the God. size of the tank. Babe. And it's about the pressure and etc. <laughs> I can't take her anywhere. Where is that? Why are you going to invite me? Mm-hmm. What are you looking for? Why are your eyes so red? This girl's been drinking too much wine during the daytime. It's seven? I thought it was like four o'clock. Boom! Shaka daytime. Okay, so this is uh, 400 grit. And what do the numbers mean on sandpaper? The size of the grit? The higher the, higher the number on sandpaper, the smoother it is. So the, the lower, we did was 220. like if you get 30 grit sandpaper, it's, it's like having rocks on a piece of paper. So with the 220, I was knocking down the higher uh, grooves that were laid in from when I rolled it. And now the 400 knocks even more of that off. This is technically smooth enough for me to do a piece on. But, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, there's some dark spots still that bled through. So I'm gonna do one more coat of the flat white interior house paint. Um, Soul Minded Creations, I use that. Um, I haven't been doing any portraits yet, um, but I have been using it because I like to have two airbrushes set up. Um, and I just got to get used to it. And what I did is I literally turned the trigger around um, because it feels like the way the trigger is shaped, I, I think it's like straight and then there's like a little bump so that your finger doesn't slide off, which it makes it feel really awkward. Like I have to put my finger on top and use it. So when I did, I turned it around. So the bump is in front of my finger and then it slopes down a little bit. So it's a little easier for me to pull the trigger back. Um, DL, when she, she, uh, she knows that whenever she asks me, sh she's just having me explain it just in case somebody doesn't want to ask that question. Did a lot of, a lot of being times, a novice? no, a lot of times people are afraid or shy or they're embarrassed to ask a question because either they think it's dumb or somebody already asked it five minutes ago, but we don't mind if you ask a hundred times, if you really honestly didn't hear it or don't understand it, we'll explain it to you. We'll answer it. There's never, ever any stupid questions. That's true. And that's why Jeff and I, a lot of Thanks, times, we'll Denise. ask each other questions. We kind of think of the questions as we're going through the motions.
Dude, what's that trick you told me? What your better half does for himself. Oh yeah, that just look it up. It's a good airbrush and it's a good company. <clears throat> I think they reached out to us. Didn't they reach out to us? The American? Is it American Air? That's what I said, right? Yeah. Yeah. They did. They're nice. They're a good company. The fact that they saw our tiny video makes me think that they're like probably family owned. A la Stone Coat. Pro tip. Well, thank you, Catherine. What's the pro tip? Put your roller in Store a ziplock. Store your cocaine in a ziplock bag. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. You can't say that live. He's talking about Coca-Cola anyway. Coca-Cola. No, store your roller in a ziplock and it'll last for a long, 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 long time. There's, there's no stupid questions. So if you wanted to, you could just walk away and let this air dry. Make dinner or prep a bunch of boards at one time. But because we're doing this on a live feed, I'm hitting it with a heat gun. On high. And also on high, like the heat level and the air level was on high. Um, if you do this, make sure you're always keeping your heat gun moving because the air will scorch your paint and your board. Where did we get this board from? From artistsilldeath.com. <laughs> I like how you answered my question kind of also with a question. Artistsilldeath.com? Mm -hmm. whole bunch of heat on your board also and you gotta touch it and even though you're hitting with a lot of heat and it's cool it means it's a little bit on the damp side and you need to use more heat there's no random question La 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 la. Yeah, Karen, we try to get them out the same day. If we have everything available, if we don't have any back stock or um, something that we that we need to make, um, Erica gets them out. Normally the same day, unless she takes a couple days to to not burn herself out, so that she does a couple each day, and she tries to get them out as fast as possible. Did I forget something to order? Mm -mm. All right. Whoop, sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> what the heck? What? That does not, there you go. Oh, you can't even see her. <laughs> we have all these cameras set up. Okay. Thank you, JJ. So now we're going to go back with the 220. No, I'm not. I'm going to do the 400. Yeah, you can just don't sand it. Just spray paint it. Carrie, just do a sample. I would do a sample. Just put it, prep it like you would do your board. Do everything you would do exactly the same way 
to a little sample, just to get a little coaster or what, just something, something smooth. You spray paint it, put resin over it. It should still be shiny, but sometimes resin will, uh, will take it down a notch, but not too much that, you know, you can't tell. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of too, too far. Lisa Ramsey is watching with her little baby grand baby tonight. Grand baby boy. Hi, grand baby boy. So I would never sand my top layer with 220. Well, no, I wouldn't. Have a great night. Brown out starting again. Dream well, do well. Uh, thanks, Michelle. What's a brown out? Judy! Judy! Erica, what do you suggest for the base white? Tammy wants to know. For what I'm painting on here or for like a substitute for the base tint from Stone Coat? So don't sand things without a respirator. Do as I say, not as I do. Thank you. Yeah, do as Judy says. Give us some thumbs up. Listen to Judy. She'll find you. She'll put you in timeout. I've seen it happen, people. Judy, now I'm not trying to tempt you with these, but I'm trying to tempt you with these. These here lip pieces that I did today. I just I, printed out a couple of our lip pieces that we've done in the past. Um, and then I put neon around them. How fun is that? I can't see where they're at. <laughs> Judy just rescheduled our Belize trip today. Oh, yeah. For the third time? I almost um, drove some flour out to her a couple weeks ago because Gary couldn't find any. And you know how he likes his fresh bread. He should. Gary should sell that bread. He should. But he couldn't find any. Um, couldn't find any flour for a long time. I almost drove some out there. Okay, next and almost final step is spraying with spray gesso. Looks like this. I hope it's focusing. Yeah. Kylon spray gesso. I don't know if any other brands make it. I know that this works. I don't know about any other brands. And what this does is it makes the surface layer kind of plasticky, kind of like photo paper or yuko paper. Um, but it's not glossy. It's totally weird. So it works if you're trying to work on a flat or matte background, but also if you're trying to do alcohol inks and probably also watercolors, but I'm not good at watercolors, so I can't vouch for that, but I'm pretty sure because it works with literally every other medium. Um, you should do this vertically. I'm gonna do this down so that people can see. Oh, it's so it's pitiful. So pitiful. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I should have Jeff do this because he is a spray painting master. But basically, the idea is to only spray when you're over the piece, right? When you use any aerosol spray, yeah. you don't you don't want to sit there and just push your can down and just spray because that's just you're using a lot more paint than you should be using. Um, and what you should do is just go over your piece just enough to where it covers it. You're not trying to, you know, make it completely covered. You just want a nice layer. And if you still see through it, and that's that's fine. Just let that dry a little bit. 
put the heat gun on it and then put a second coat and if you need a, a third coat let that dry a little bit and do your third coat because if you just try to do that all at once that's a lot of paint on there and it's going to take so long for it to dry true right now i'm just trying to not have any cross lines without adding too much paint so i'm not like pushing it onto the piece i'm letting it spray out and like feather down hey jj will you can you put a link to the to the covid shirt karen do you want the uh the x-rated one or do you want the pre-order the edited x-rated or the pg or the pg <laughs> I actually had more people today contact me about the edited x-ray. I think I need to put that back up for pre order. Edited x-ray? Yeah, the F hashtag percentage yeah. A. The edited x-ray. It's not... It's just... Um, if you want the one that says worldwide, they're up for pre-sale right now. The... F COVID. The F COVID shirt, I don't know if we have any on the website. I took them down after the pre sale. Do we want to open it back up? No. Um, she wants to X rate it. I, yeah, I don't know. Um, he still has a screen. Huh? He still has a screen. I know, but he can't, he's not just going to print one shirt. I need like, probably you have to think 12. about that. Oh, we just we just ordered a couple of every size. Yeah. So I'll put our limited available uh, surplus up there as soon as we get them in. That's why she shouldn't drink before she does this. <laughs> if you guys can see her eyes, can you see her eyes? It's pretty cute. Blue, but very low. Bedroom eyes, um, Karen, they're they're not on the website yet. Um, Booger says I would like an F -co Covina. <laughs> um, yeah, we just ordered five more of each size. So she will, uh, she'll go on the website and uh, add those and make that shirt live. When we get them in, I need to make sure that they meet um, expectations before I post them. Right, we're dry and it's relatively smooth, um, but I am gonna hit it with the 400 just one more time to smooth it out further. Where's my rig? What's up, Donna Parker? How are you? Donna Parker, Donna, Donna Parker. And you guys really shouldn't worry about the sides. Um, unless you want them a certain color? I say unless they're putting would... texture on the piece, because otherwise you can just flip it over and do the thing, right? I don't, I don't understand what you're saying. When you flip it over and spray paint the sides, yeah. like unless there's texture, that technique will work. You know, you don't know what I'm saying. Um. Well, that's just, thank you, JJ. That's, that's pre-orders. Um, and those will begin to, to be printed on the 7th. We're just pre-ordering for one week. And then after one week, we'll take it off the website, print everything that's, that's been bought. Are we going to take the worldwide ones down after? Can someone make me a short, a short that says F? PA governor. 
<laughs> um, yeah, I, it'll be easy. You just airbrush them on. <laughs> okay. So, but yeah, are we taking the worldwide ones off after the pre-sale is over? Well, yeah, I mean... Like it's one run and done. That's what I that's what I told people unless people are wanting them after but that's why we're doing it a, a whole week. Oh, um the pre-made kits I'm going to have live tomorrow. I got caught up sending out orders today, so I'm so sorry I didn't get the class kit for the 25th out today, but it will be out tomorrow. Um so yeah, be inspect my this. It looks great. But feel it. Very smooth. Very smooth. You did an awesome job, babe. That looks great. Would you very airbrush smooth. on this? I would airbrush on that. <clears throat> That's a very key piece because when you do airbrush, what happens, see? I don't know. What happened? If you try to airbrush on a rough canvas, it won't work because it'll look like your thing has pock marks, right? Because it gets caught up in any texture. Do I need to say that over? Say that again? When you airbrush... That's the face she does when she thinks that I'm not paying attention to her. And she's very disappointed in me. But am I right? No. You're not. So, um... <laughs> 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 the board has to be super smooth when you airbrush on it because the airbrush particles will fall in any kind of texture that's on the piece. The like overspray. Whatever. Maybe. Yes. But that's Maybe. why you, like, I've always known you to prep extra smooth because airbrush. Well, yeah, you always want a so very smooth surface. So that's my goal. Uh, but yeah, that's what also makes this ideal for alcohol ink or watercolors because it won't get caught up in any of the particles or AKA high surfaces in your Karen, we just, we don't have it on the website yet. Um, she just needs to, uh, she did, she needs to go in and add the, uh, the shirt to make it live to where you can order the shirt. They should be done Tuesday. We just had 10 of each size made, so. Yeah, I'm not going to add them to the website till we have them in-house. But yeah. it should be on Tuesday. If you're subscribed to our newsletter... This is all... It's all blurry. That looks like your... Your camera. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll just... This one. Oh. Just put it on your... Here's face. the... Uh, why is that not... Why is that not on? Look, the... Uh, Look, there's no sound on this, on this camera here. That's weird. Just start up it. That's so weird. I don't know. That was the that was the new design. Um, I don't know why there's no sound on that. Uh, but yeah. So as soon as I get those in. The ones that we just ordered extra, I'll add them to the website, but I don't want to add them till we see them because I want to do quality control and make sure that what we have meets expectations. And so, um, but if you're subscribed to our newsletter, then I'll send out an email letting people know that those shirts are in. So, because every time we get a new product in, I put it on the website and send out an, um, an email. I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna put the uh, the Frankie image real quick. This is the new shirt design. Um, it's gonna be right here. Yeah. That's that's the new shirt. <coughs> it's it's called a G rated. <laughs> Because people didn't want the uh, the f bomb Edited on their shirt. F-word. Yeah.
Gail's in rare form tonight. Hey guys. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Prepping is key. 100%. 100. Si. Yes. Si. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us. Very sweet of you. Um, and if you, you just joined, you didn't know what we were talking about, these are our shirts that we're making. These are pre-order right now. Um, I like to think it's going to be a collector's item because of such a crazy time that we're all going through that n none of our ancestors within 200 years have gone through, 300, however long. Um, so if you want to buy one to wear and one to keep, I don't know. I'm not saying I would, but I would. He has been. <laughs> um, so thank you for coming and hanging out with us tonight. Thank you for your support. Thank you for donations. It means so much to us. Helping out a lot. Um, it's a little stressful worrying if people are going to buy artwork or if people are going to buy products. And we don't ever want to take advantage or take, take it for granted or just think, oh, well, people are bored. They're going to want to paint. Um, that's really not the case. Um, Beansy. We just, uh, we're just trying to, we're just trying to provide for everybody and keep our heads above water and maybe buy a shirt support other artists so support local businesses support local artists um, answer any questions anybody says ask you it's super easy it's what we do it's how we started and it's how all of you became our family and we appreciate every single one of you guys um, you guys have an awesome Friday night be safe if you go out go do your thing be safe Social distance, mask, respect other people's space. You're responsible for somebody else's health. Let's just think of that. See. Si. See. Si. Be kind to one another. You never know what somebody's going through. Have an awesome Friday. We'll see you tomorrow. Probably during the daytime. I'm not 100% sure. I got to start on that uh, diptych tomorrow, so. Uh, diptych. It'll yes. be early. Mmm, yes. Diptych. Yeah. Um, so yeah we'll see you guys tomorrow bye I say bye <laughs>